Hey dolls, what's up? It's your favorite bag in a budget at Diamond K. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're not familiar with my channel, you're gonna love it here. So bag in a budget, safe haven. We talk about where to buy cheap this and that, cheap wigs, cheap clothing, just baddie on a budget related things, things that'll help you become badder and badder every single day, you know, in the good way though. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Melted Hairline Outre Lace Front Wig Sandra. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, baddies, right before we get into it, just a couple things. Make sure you follow me. All my socials will be down here and in the description box below. So will Sam's Beauty. And make sure if you follow me on TikTok, if you haven't already, because I am able to keep the bag on a budget content going on there. It takes a lot of time for me to produce content for YouTube, but being a bag on a budget does not stop. So definitely, if you want to stay up to date with all of the newest bag on a budget secrets and where to shop, follow my TikTok. That's where all the tea is on a regular basis. And let's get right into this link review. Okay, so this is the Melted Hairline lace front wig from Outre HD transparent lace takes you up to 400 degrees two times five wide lace parts it's Sandra and it's in the color DRFF ginger mahogany just take a good look at her okay you got long enough look I feel like oh and this is a brown orange color this is an interesting color I've been digging the browns because I was watching Real Housewives of Potomac season five I don't know if you guys watched it or not but if you don't and you like reality TV you need to get on it the best reality TV I've seen probably been a long time like honestly I've been watching Bad Girls Club but I enjoyed this even more even more so I would highly suggest it shout out the box guys she's super cute first of all look at this color a really nice ombre you see how good that fade is okay so it comes in all of these lovely beautiful colors as well yeah so you got options sis and I love the way that it looks at the back like that little like uh I like the bobs that aren't just a regular bob I like the bobs with some shape and some life to them so this wig is absolutely stunning and then let's talk about the hairline too please can we because it's stunning oh my gosh guys it just looks amazing I kind of sometimes think I want to go human but then I remember why would I want to do that so much work so much effort I could just order the wig and have it done and not to mention I really do get bored of wigs obnoxiously fast it's a problem but I mean I don't know what to do about it. I mean, actually, I got a fix. I got the fix. It's the synthetic. So that's the um, cure to that. And she got a light brown waist, but it doesn't matter. We can tint that easily with some foundation, which we will. And we have one of these nice adjustable straps. Okay, so this is a good wig. A wig that has a big that strap is already a good wig in my book. And then it has a comb in the front on this side, and then one on this side, and then a big long one in the back as well, along with adjustable straps. It's a nice cap construction, guys. It really is. It feels great. This just feels like a nice, expensive wig. So let me get this off, guys, and I'm gonna just try her on and I'll be right back okay baddies what's up here's this hair um guys I didn't really glue it to my head that's why I didn't show anything because like why bother just I haven't been gluing wigs to my head in a very long time but I don't this is one of those wigs that I just buy and then um and then what are you doing back there what are you doing <laughs> get out of here are you authorized to be in here yeah can I see your pass uh I'll in my car oh that sounds like an excuse <laughs> Security will escort you out. <laughs> um, I am secure. Oh crap. This wig is like one of those wigs that I got and then I realized like maybe I didn't have the right vision this time. People say I could pull everything off. Is it that though or is it really that I only pick things that I already know I can pull off? And I'm not saying I didn't pull this off because you know what? I pull off everything. But regardless, I just not a wig I would probably pick. Out of all my wigs, guys, I'm not probably going to wear this one again. I don't see that happening. It will get lost in the wig rack. I need to go through it. Let me know if you want a video of me going through my wig rack. Wig rack. Wig rack. Might get one anyway. But the hair itself is like great. It's a nice soft. It's got a lot of body to it. It's got light. And so like if this is the style you want, then absolutely just get it. It's not a personal thing. It's just like some wigs I put on, I'm like, maybe this wasn't what I needed right now. And I think this is one of those wigs. If I could free part it, I would love it. This is not my side that I like parting my hair on anyway. So that fact that I can't free part it is like kind of what makes me not like it. Or I can't even change the part. And if I did, I think it would look really goofy. I would have no hair on this side, guys. I just can't. But that's the main reason why it's just not the side I would ever part my hair on. I always part my on this side guys my good side um so that's kind of the beef here that's my beef with this wig we're being really out I, I guess i'm just not an asymmetrical type yeah also if i did an asymmetrical part to be like a sharp cut this makes me feel um just less extra i don't feel very extra i feel like cute and hippie but i don't feel extra guys you know i like to be extra i like to be over the top i just went through a little bob phase but i'm kind of coming out on it i started wearing big voluminous hair again we're talking janet collection d and in balayage 30. So this is my first time back dabbling in short hair again and right now I'm like I miss the extraness. But the wig is great guys. No tangling at all. Like look, run my hands, run my hands, run my hands. No shedding. All I did was cut the lace. I'll show you guys how I cut it next time because I do like the way it came out. But, um, put my foundation on, pop it on. I could have done a better job probably. I probably could have taken time and you wouldn't be able to see this line of demarcation from all the way up there but 
Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's all I have to say about this wig. I'm surprised this one don't got no rips to it. It's all a trash bag coat. That's what my sister told me. <laughs> <laughs> trash bag coat, Dad. She came for you. Oh, this comes from that because my legs are so skinny. She calls me a black widow, praying mantis, Tim Burton character. Like, I don't need it. I don't need that. It's kind of even growing on me the more I um, come around, but... This is like up to you, this is totally up to you because I'm mean, gonna I give this wig an 8 out of 10 because I, it's a good quality wig. It fits in my head nice. It had that nice extra strap in there, guys. No problem fitting it on my head. I think it's probably big head friendly, probably. I'm not positive. I can't because I, I don't know about measurements. I still haven't measured my head yet to get a wig head. Makes me nervous. How do I measure my head? Anyway, it wasn't a bad wig. If you want it, it's totally up to you, baby girl. Do you? Do you? I would say to go get it though if you're considering it because it's a quality wig. It is a quality wig. So, y'all dolls, that's the end of this video. So, I want to thank. Thanks, Sam to Beauty for sending me this wig. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you watch this point, you know I love you a lot. And I really don't have anything going on at the ends of my videos right now. That's something that needs to change. I just have to leave it off with them. I'm like, bye. So I'm about to do that again. So love you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye.